rely on the big book that by law they have to have okay, to run on for a long time run on for a long time run on for a long time but I think that door is rapidly closing. No, don't don't let them take the Bible out of our courts. Or, 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 or anywhere. Because that's that's your remedy. There's Believe a lot of stuff not. in the Bible. That's for sure. Stuff. That's the only thing I had in my hand. <laughs> well, what I, what a lot of stuff I, in here, too. You know what I want? Stuff the right Great here. Deceiver? <laughs> have people bad both in it but before they even see or read it. And do you know that there's more Bibles written and published every year than any other book on the planet. I'd believe that for sure. But I don't think it's read all that much. Probably not, no. But the it, Bible tells us that that's liable to happen because it's going to be spread is to every corner of the planet, uh -huh. one way or another, Okay. so that nobody will be able to plead ignorance as but, an excuse. But anyway. I think he's oh, been cursed more than anything else lately, though. Yeah. Well, it is. Well, Lucifer, you is know... That's why the Spanish Revolution happened. I'm sure. Uh, why? Because the Bible uh, got lost. The Bible there. Oh, got well, lost. you see, Lucifer, you see, he's even in the courtroom. Do you know what the real name for the court of Ontario is? And every other court on the planet? Legislation? No. Okay. It's a church. You knew it was a church. Did you know that? No, I did. <laughs> no, this is brand new news to me. I didn't know it was a church. I know there's ministers in the government. That makes sense. There's pews in it. I think I got Jews a book in it. Talk some of that. Just a second. It's, uh... I don't remember there being a tennis court in church. <laughs> I didn't think church called. was about playing games. Courts <laughs> are called. What is that? That's the Star of David, also known as uh, Water Molecule. You think that's the Star of David? Yes, again. Snowflake? What, what is this here? The Synagogue of Satan is the title of this book. And that happens to be what every court is in the world. Uh, Bloody Star of David, or the Synagogue of Satan? The Synagogue of Satan. Okay. And that's why they have the built Bible up there on the witness box, to get everybody cursing on it, so God will not stand behind them. They get God on their side, and make the accused two times more the child of hell than themselves. Now, don't you think that's a fantastic trick? Oh. It's almost like magic. Well, it is, and the Bible tells you about it. All about it. And that's why they don't want you reading it. And so they succeed in bad it so much that people believe the lie and they don't ever, they never read it. Anyway. Mm hmm. Okay. Now what does it say out here? Brave New World. No, above that. Above that says, the Toronto Star, Saturday, January 24, 2004. In 2004, it was time to disseminate this information to the public in a national newspaper called the Toronto Star in Canada. Okay. I've heard of it. Thank you, Bird. I've, he I've heard of it, the Toronto Okay. Story. Now, do you feel that we've got a brave new world out here now? Well, I've seen the movie, Courtesy too. Courtesy of biometrics? Do you know that we have established a secure biometric perimeter around North America? Yeah. You ever heard really, of Really, it's secure? Yeah. It's done? Yeah. They say Security it is. Parameter. You know, I'm a parameter. reporter, and I'm just way behind in the news. Are you familiar with the drones flying the borders of the American U.S.? <laughs> I am. Between the uh, Great I mean, Lakes the and Canadian the Pacific uh, yeah. Ocean, the one where the radiation is floating across right now, stuff up? that doesn't fall in. Sure. No, it's still, got, it's still coming our way, apparently. Right, yeah, there's the spy balloon okay. above Sarnia. Yeah. Is that still up? Which? The spy balloon? Oh, well. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. You see, when we get a little cloud cover from all these chemtrails, they have to start getting more cameras around <laughs> on the ground because the satellites can't see through quite as easy. They can't tell without your hair here for the chemtrails. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, do you see what this says here? Let's not get into chemtrails. Yes. What does this say? Here? What, what does this say it is? New science of body measurement. Well, do you know the company that's measuring your body here in Ontario? has been around since 1929. I didn't know anybody was measuring me. Oh, well, they are. Well, yeah, that's <laughs> since uh, 1929. And, and, you think, and you thought ignorance was bliss. <laughs> well, it was, but well, I'll show, I will show you before we're done how oh, blissful it is. Oh, IBM, yeah, IBM International Brotherhood of Magic. I don't know if that's what it really means. You that's don't. what it sounds like. I, internal, I don't know. I'll look it up on Google. Okay, now what, what is this? What's this? Explain this to the viewers. New Pretty science of body measurement. Computer systems using biometrics, the scanning and measuring of a person's physical or behavioral characteristics are being developed to help security and law enforcement agencies 
clarify people's identities. So look at some of those technologies. Yeah, because you, you got know, thumbprints. You know, I just my behavior the other day. Hmm. For for I thought I was uh, commenting on a beautiful late girl to to help her self esteem. Hmm. And apparently that was in Canada, 2011, an inappropriate behavior. To compliment somebody and tell them that make they're them beautiful. Feel that you're beautiful. Yeah. And I'll let you listen to that conversation. Uh, this this guy phoned up and he was telling me how I should uh, be behaving. Okay, you heard that, didn't you, Steve? Oh, oh, okay. Anyway, I'd like to invite you to Ottawa sometime to go on one of our "I Love You" parades. It's something that we've been doing recently. I think <laughs> I it, 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 mi it might have caused the earthquake last week in Ottawa. We just walk around <laughs> telling everybody that I love you, I love you, I love you. And, and now, is that in keeping with scripture? Because it says it's fine to love your neighbor, but you're supposed to love God first, and He's got some rules and regulations. In I see God in each one of my neighbors. In, got you we're there. in multicult Canada. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It is there. <laughs> like, you think, you, you really think there's love in these guys here? No. Oh, what do you mean? Are but I would have to say there's... None is, of them are your neighbors. I'd have to say there's forgiveness in... In, in these guys? If they repent. Well, you see, if I thought there if was... If they stop doing If I thought there was forgiveness, I wouldn't have any trouble going in under the statute legislative laws. But apparently, in this new world order, have you not heard? There will be no mercy. <laughs> Have you heard that model? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. In their order that's going to come out of the chaos that's about to ensue. That's what Obama's been saying about Libya the last couple of days. No mercy, no nothing. Well, mm. Libya is a diversion. No question. L Libya is a of diversion course. to what they're doing here. Seems like everything's an inside okay, now, job. What is this? Um, what is, well, it is. Yeah. Okay, what do we got here? So you got centralization of, of what? You got identification, your iris scans, your... your uh, Speech cognition, hand geometry. No, do you think you've given that? Uh, my speech cognition? Of course I have, through my phone or through a uh, computer. Or through Did you contract? I never contracted to do it, no. Were I, you ever I offered never, a contract? I don't think so. But mm, I, I'm, no. I'm very, very, very skeptical lately about things that I have or have not done in the past. That could via lead to trouble. Oops. Because apparently, this image that they're creating, mm -hmm. they're able to give life unto it. Life unto it, like cloning. That it can speak. Oh, they can pretend to be me, just like we heard on the radio on the air. That was yeah. weird. Okay. Oh. Now, what does this look like here? That looks like... Uh, that would explain the calls from the plane. Facial stuff. recognition. My computer, actually. I take pictures of now, everybody. Now, does it look like these measurements it com are coming from amidst the eyes and face? Yeah, around the nose and the, the facial structure. So probably. it's kind of from amidst the eyes and face, is it? Yeah. And is this from amidst the eyes and face? That's the mouth. Is that amidst the eyes and face? Yes. Is it a nut hurts? A nut hurts? Utterance. An Have utterance. Oh, utter uttered. Oh, utter. yes. Utter. Oh, you yeah. think that's a nutterance? Now, this what about this? Where's this that coming from? It's coming from my thumb. Any thumb? Thumbprint. My thumb. Which one? You got more than one or not? I got two of them, yeah. Well, this guy's only got one eye, so and it looks like he got two, so you must, you know, apparently... We're creating the image of God. Right. This guy claims he's God. He says he's the all-seeing eye, the great architect of the universe. You ever heard that? Yeah. And there's guys that worship him. Certainly. Oh, I know about this organized stalking and such. There's, a, there's so well, many different I things going on. I was saying that, you know... It's the foundation of the image. KKK and racism. But he's only got one eye. I think he's coming up short big time. He got ripped off. <laughs> huh? <laughs> so God, I, I think my God's got... So I'd say we got one up on him. I think my God's got two <laughs> eyes, don't you? Anyway. Yeah. Tell him that God's gonna cut him down. You can run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Run on.